up next. Maybe not up next. If the bracket plays out, we may see uh, Old School Legend Mike G play in a little bit against Drunk Sloth. But right uh, now, I'm got... hoping for that. He's Georgia. He's Old School. Old School Peaches get like kind of sick because he's, that's when they that's when the Peaches really, get weird. He's definitely Old School. Like literally been playing since the game came out. You ask him when he started playing, he was like, "Well, when they were advertising Melee before it came out," and you're like, "Oh, all right." So that's how this story starts. Anyways, right now we got Fox to those. I believe I beat DW is green. He played green last time. Um, I want to say that it should be Harriet because Harriet's the one on the right. But that's also what I said in uh, Sammy versus Panda. I'm I'm betting green is IBDW. Plus he's yeah, yeah. Harriet's neutral. Yeah, we're receiving word that uh, IDBW IBDW is. Plus the, he started uh, using down tilt. That's you can also, down tilt foxes or. Uh, Recognizable. Like, wait, I'm starting to think. Oh no, this, he's using it too. This is a this is a very weird game. It feels like is this is this a hand warmer? I, I don't think it's a hand warmer. They're just playing so. Yeah, weird. it's like this is. They're I I've never seen a, a game where a fox they don't know less where two people have just. Not stood hit each on, other. Yeah, sit on the opposite side of the stage, laser a little bit, dash chance a little bit, Nair in place. Like, I didn't know it was physically possible to play Fox oh, and not no, try to... This is looking like a Florida local. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like IBDW is just thinking like, all right, I know the frames on up on up tilt, They're and I know good. the frames on the spot dodge. Eventually, I'm going to win this. Because I mean, they're, if, they're, if the timing's out of sync, eventually the up tilt will hit. Sure. I've... Definitely, I had a brief conversation like over lunch with IBDW, and he was talking about like, oh yeah, a, a lot of playing melee is just like cheesing like players that you feel like you should be able to beat anyways. I'm like, really? Is that is that what it is? That's a <laughs> that's an interesting philosophy, but I kind of understand it because there are definitely times where you just think in a in melee. Yeah, you're a sheik. You understand this? It's like, how quickly can I just get this to an edge guard? Yeah, and especially in Fox, it was like you could mess around with perfect up air chains, or you could just get like Nair jab into like Armada Shine. Yeah, whenever whenever I'm playing Fox, it was, I always have it in the back of my mind. It's like, but I could just take this stock with two shines. Yeah, that's what makes this matchup. And then you just really want Nutty. those two shines. Sounds like a rapper name. <laughs> two shines. Two shines. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's made. I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah, I'm someone's, sure someone's made a parody made rap with that. Yeah. He's crouching in the middle of the stage. Dash tag to dash tag is the best combo tool in the game. I think Armada's really the person that just like started pioneering it. Fox and Hyper Zen just spam dash attack. Oh, uh, you could have got that up smash off of that, off the of DI away. That's like that. That back air is punishable, oh. especially when he's a low percent. Ooh. All right. That read wasn't necessary, but I feel like it's just to make a bit of a point. I, the standing lasers definitely weren't necessary. And now we're, we're back to this. All right. Harriet just very content Major with taking land. center stage. Harriet is neutral, right? We established Yes, this. Harriet right. is neutral. Okay, nice DR in the backer, actually. He didn't want to get up smash oh. there. That was a questionable side B. All right. All right. More now everybody's hey, getting back to their corners. <laughs> yeah, fighters back to their corners. This is this has been a very interesting box sit over. I, me. I feel like they we knew exactly who was playing who, but we were more confused than any other game. <laughs> yeah. A little bit lost with Fox Ditto sometimes. Both that was uh, IBDW taking game one. He's laughing. They're both laughing. It's like I've never seen a Fox Ditto at this level just go to four minutes. It, it really should be not, like harder punishes. Yeah, well, it's not even like either of them were messing up. They hit hard when they got the hits. But uh, it's like, I don't know. I consider standing laser <laughs> for two seconds. Well, I don't count that as a hit. <laughs> I like, don't consider that count was a, as clean play. Well, look, this is like air. clean edge guards. But the thing is, this situation just never happened. All right, well, I guess up that back air wasn't too clean. I don't know why that up tilt reversed. Like zero to death. Looks like he just got him off stage, and uh, yeah, just that's it. <laughs> Bread and butter. At this level, if you're off stage, you should probably die, especially in a ditto. Uh, I don't know. Fox, fox is really good at recovering, but Fox is really good at edge guarding Fox. So yeah. 
Nice uh, shield drop, double jump up here. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of a screech in the venue. But we're all good. I like that short. IBDW seemed to have been uh, cleaning up his play a little bit. I think he took a while to adapt to this bizarre fox Dido, but now he's kind of playing playing better, hitting all of his punches. Yeah. Nair trade, DBZ. Yeah. I think the confidence is showing in trying to hit more. He's got the shield drops, which Harry doesn't look like he's prepared to deal with. Harry is pretty old school, right? I think That's my understanding. My understanding is that Harriet's uh, oh, very he got old the double school. jump shine, and he didn't like Harry didn't even start up a recovery move. He was just like floating there, and he got the shine anyways. It's, uh, it's just that was just a, a really clean awesome shine from IBD. I B I D B I B I B D W. It takes a little bit. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Ibid, 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 what? The Green Fox. Green Fox. All right, that'll work. All right, so we got Harry versus Green Fox. That's a phantom up tilt, trying to keep him out. I like how one person does a combo breaker shine to start their combo, but is a little bit slow as so the other person gets a combo breaker shine. Ooh. That that was the most confident jab I've ever seen. Yeah. He's like, he's forgot he's not playing Marth. He's like, yeah, Marth's jab stuffs this. And he's like, what? Fox? Yeah, let's try Fox's it Fox's jab stuffs this. <laughs> shine up smash so quick. Yeah. yeah, the green fox seems to have very much gotten his footing since the first game. Uh, I'm aware of who the Green Fox is, but the the letters get he confusing. He got a jab of his own. I think he could have just grabbed ledge from back air there. He's been doing that like reverse laser to side B, and I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. Harriet's looking back, trying to talk to someone while he's doing it. Oh, Runs Harriet off storms back. off the stage. Everyone's laughing. I very, don't know what's going on. Very <laughs> salty. Zero out of ten. Would not this doesn't, doesn't look like he's ulti at all. They just goes maybe off. They just wanted to leave that stage really badly. Like just they shook hands and everything. Goes off to uh, complain the drunk sloth. Mm -hmm. 